Hey, where did you die? Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Spider-Man action figure review on Beast Kingdom's Egg Attack Action, the amazing Spider-Man 2 figure. If you're trying to pick up one of these, you can get them at Big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So pretty cool looking figure. I saw this up for pre-order a while ago. It's a baby looking Spider-Man. He's got a big old head right there, but it looks like it has a lot of articulation and a lot of nicely sculpted detail. Anyway, the package looks really nice. I like how we get this little pattern right over here that we saw in the red sections of his suit. Then up top right there it says Egg Attack Amazing Spider-Man. And then EAA001 right there. You get these hexagons coming around the side. And there he is in a cool pose, shooting some webbing. Then on the side right there, there's more hexagons. Then this flap is held together with Velcro. You can see the figure right there. It comes with four pairs of interchangeable palms, three pairs of webbing, 30 points of articulation. Nice compound eye effect with those lenses. And then you can see the figure right over there. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's our big-headed Spider-Man out of the packaging. And look how cute he looks. Oh, he's got a big head like a baby. I'm usually not into the cutesy figurines. I don't really collect vinyl pops. I have two of those, by the way. And I have a couple of Mighty Mugs, so I'm not really into them so much. But with this guy's articulation, I really like the figure a lot. You're basically getting SH Figure Arts articulation on this piece, and it makes it very fun to pose around. And he does come with a bunch of accessories as well. Uh, I do wish he had a swinging web. I'll mention that. I'll go over more of the accessories later on but anyway the paint apps on this are fantastic very very clean very very high quality looking paint on this I really like that metallic look that we get with this blue plastic right over here and the red came out really good too so anyway let's take a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the big head spider-man so he comes with this really cool stand that we saw earlier I feel like this could go up a little bit higher over here but still it's not really too bad and I like how it says amazing spider-man 2 and then it says spider-man right over there just really nice clear plastic on this I really like it a lot it's very similar to the Mafex clear uh, stand that we'd gotten, so it doesn't have any milkiness in it or anything like that. And you do get some swivel action right over here. You can pop that out if you want to. And then it does have a screw in here so you could loosen and tighten that as you like. And it does move forward and back. You also get rotation up here and then these clamp together. So I love all these interchangeable hands that we get with this figure. We get five different pairs of interchangeable hands. You can see we have the fisted hands, we have the web swinging grabbing hands right there, we get whipping hands, we get regular relaxed hands right there, then we get wall crawling hands. Then as far as the webbing goes, we get these three different webs. I think all three of these little webbings look really good. I really like this one right here. It almost looks like a hand at the end of that, right? That's kind of funny looking, but I really like the texture detail that we get in this. That's etched out very nicely with the sculpt. And then this one has a little bit of extra plastic left over at the end of it. And then this one right here is looking pretty clean. So you get this one small one right here, then the longer glob, and then this longer wall attachment piece right there. So I really wish he did have a swinging web, you know, a much longer swinging web would have been nice. And then to demonstrate how these attach, and by the way, looking at one of the hands right over here, you can see that they have some really nice paint on them. I really like that gunmetal color that we get for the cobweb pattern so I think these all came out really nice putting the hands on are very difficult uh, I was uh, okay that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be but <laughs> you know it's been a little bit trickier than I'd like it to now if you don't have any of the webbing plugged in which I really like how they have this set up by the way this is one of my favorite ways to apply webbing to a figure because it actually goes through the actual web shooter you have a little tiny web shooter right over here which you may not like the idea of this because it's such a small tiny piece but when you put this in here you want to make it like it's an arrowhead so that the point is shooting towards the fingers. But, you know, to apply some of the webbing, I'll take the short one right here. It actually goes in the opposite way so that the pointy end is going towards Spider-Man's big head over there. So that's how you plug those in right there. And I think it looks really good. I like it. So right here's 25% of the figure. Yeah, it's got this big egg head. I think they did a great job with this. Again, I love how the cobwebbing pattern came out. I love the gunmetal color that they used for it. The red is just spectacular though. I absolutely love it. It has this nice metallic look and I'm really just 
digging it. Now you could say that they missed the mark on getting that little pattern, especially because we saw it on the packaging, you know, the little rectangular pattern that we see in between the cobwebs. I don't necessarily miss it because I really like the red color. It's a very nice, vibrant red. I'm doing my best to make this look the same way I'm seeing it in person over here, but through the viewfinder. The compound lenses right there look great. That transparent plastic right in front of it looks really good. I'm really digging this a lot. Very, very nice looking head sculpt. I just really like the paint apps and everything on this. And looking at the rest of the figure, it looks really good too. Again, I really like this blue color that they used for the plastic over here. The red paint came out very clean. And one thing that's a little bit of a gripe of mine is that I wish they added some red paint in this joint. You know, the red kind of just disappears right over there. But that's really my only gripe as far as the paint goes. I guess this joint could have been a little bit wider, but you know, as soon as you get them posed around, you don't really notice it as much. Then looking right over here for the center of the figure, looks really good. Paint came out just clean throughout. I can't complain about it. He's got his little stocky legs, big old Spider-Man feet. It's just really nice looking figure through and through. He does not have peg holes at the bottom, but the gunmetal does go throughout on the bottom of the feet. And here's one last look at the back of the figure. He was a big head. One thing I wanted to mention too is that I feel like it's a pretty good figure as far as the weight goes and everything seems stable. The head definitely feels a bit hollow, but it's not a super light piece, but it definitely has a little bit of weight to it. Anyway, articulate Articulation wise, you can get his head moving up that much. I wish it could move up more than that, but seeing as it's such a huge head over here, I mean, I'm surprised we can get it to look up that far. It does look down just only a little bit. You do get side to side movement over here, and he does have head pivot. He does have an armpit joint right in here. Very much reminds me of an SH Figure Arts figure. Uh, you can move this little shifty piece right in the armpit just like a Figure Arts, so I really like that a lot. You can get the shoulders moving out very far you can get him rotating forward you can get the arms moving inward a lot more with that armpit joint while the arms are moving forward too so I want to mention that that moves in a little bit more so you get a bicep swivel you get the double jointed elbows that bend in all the way which could be stiff at first but wow look at that that bends in very nicely and then you get rotation at the wrist and then you can move it any direction you want to they're on ball joints and then you get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side over here it does crunch forward a little bit and it does move back only a tiny bit and you do get a little bit of pivot right there at the diaphragm but you do get more pivot at the waist joint right there and he does have a little bit of crunching at the waist and can move back a little bit at the waist so yeah again very much like a figure arts and you get this hinge right here at the hip again like a figure arts figure so I really like that they're copying SH figure arts and you can get the legs to move outward you can kick forward very far you do get a swivel up here too so it's kind of tricky to move that swivel but it does turn in and out a little bit and he does have the double jointed knees which were stiff at first and yes these feet are on ball joints and they will pop off on you but getting this bent in all the way you can see it can bend in that much then the ankle can move down only a little bit it does move up some you can rotate side to side you do get ankle pivot and he does have toe articulation now even though this looks like a baby spider-man he is not small you can see he's standing just a little under seven inches tall then to compare this cutesy egg attack spider-man to another cutesy figurine we have the Funko vinyl pop and Man movie bobblehead. Boingy, 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 boingy. Oh. Then to compare this baby big head Spider Man to some other amazing Spider Man 2 figures, we have the Marvel Legends version, the Mafex version, then we have the Marvel Select right there. And you can see he stands just right in between the Mafex and the Select version, so it's a really good sized piece. Then here's our big time big headed Spider Man next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider Man. Oh, who's the baby Spider Man? Oh, you the baby Spider Man? Oh, give your big brother a hug. <laughs> I think this thing is freaking adorable. I really like it a lot, and I'm not even really big into the cutesy action figures and stuff. I guess mostly because most of them don't have any articulation. So the fact that this guy's articulated like crazy, and the paint and the sculpt is just phenomenal, it just really makes me like it a lot. Yeah, I have my tiny little gripes, and there's also the price point. This guy is not cheap. So if you really want to pick this figure up, you gotta put aside a pretty penny to get it. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here if you want even more shart in your face. If you want to support the channel, go ahead and check out the Patreon account if you're of 18 years of age or older. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later! Peace! There's a little tiny bit of extra pla- ah, no!